five after six. Saturday morning. Had a great hunt last night. Saw three different buck. Like I said, I left everything in that tree. So I'm gonna head right back to it. David's across the road down in where we had the ground blind, but we hung a ladder stand down there. So all the corn on that side of the field's cut, so he's got a natural pinpoint. Saw a lot of deer in those fields last night, he said. They started cutting the corn down here, but I don't think they finished it because I got standing corn right in front of me here. So they were cutting as I was coming out. So I'm gonna get going back here. I'll see you guys when I'm all set up. It's a nice cold morning. We got a frost out. We had bucks running yesterday. Uh, hopefully they do that this morning. But uh, I think if I see a nice mature doe, I'm going to take a doe this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out. I'm going to go into that ladder stand that I put up uh, last Sunday. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I haven't hunted it yet, but there is sign in there. So hopefully these buck move this morning or a big mature doe. I can get a shot at something. And uh, we'll have to drag one out. We'll call Dennis. We'll let him drag it out. I got a bad back, so... All right, we'll see you guys in the stand. Take care. It's nice and cool. It was 25, 26 degrees when I got down to the farm, so I'm going to settle in and relax and uh, wait for daylight. So I'll see you when the sun starts coming up. fields all around me. They finished cutting the corn yesterday. So these deer were using, uh, they were using the corn as their bedding area. And I'm actually probably only about 200 yards from where, where I filmed that double beam main, that double main beam buck when I was sitting on the ground. But now that the fields are cut, this is a choke point for them to travel back and forth between the big hollow that's over to my left. So hopefully they move today and I can get a I can get a shot at one. But it's turned out to be a beautiful morning. A little after eight o'clock. I haven't seen any deer yet. Kind of surprised, but it might be, uh, might be till mid morning till we see something, so. I've been grunting a little bit. I did a little bit of rattling. We'll see.
I just had one deer working that cornfield up there. I don't know what it was. If it was a buck, it's definitely a small one because I can't see any rack on it. Got a bunch of ducks on the pond here behind me. Looks like they're all mallards. I got a buck over here. It's one of the bucks I saw last night. He might still come.
Well, I just had a nice buck come across the top of the, the bottom pond over there. And, uh, I gave a couple grunts, but he wanted absolutely nothing to do with a grunt. Tried bleating at him and <clears throat> made no difference. I guess he's just not ready yet, but I don't know how much of him I got on film. It's so thick in there what I was trying to film through. I don't know how many points he had. He just, he was definitely nice buck, but it's still early. Got a lot of time left yet, so I'm gonna sit tight. Maybe we'll get some more movement. I don't know where that buck went. But I gotta believe he's back in this thicket somewhere. Because he came in it and it looked like he was coming this way. I'm, I'm gonna try to run, grunt and then rattle again and see if that doesn't doesn't draw him in. Just can't believe we haven't seen any other deer. David only saw that one buck and that's it too. stuff that I got to get done today so I'm gonna pack it up for the morning try to get all my stuff done around my house before it's time to go back out this evening and uh, hopefully this evening will be a little bit better had some movement just uh, not close enough to shoot so we'll see what happens uh, what happens this evening and we'll just go from there so I'll see you guys in the stand this afternoon well I think I'm going to climb down. I'm going to leave everything here. I'm going to come back here tonight. I just got to believe that with the activity that I've seen here and the several sits I've had back here, I've, I'm going to eventually have a shot at a buck right here. So try and get back in here early enough so I don't have something happen to me like I did yesterday. <laughs> and uh, have my bow on the ground squirrel um, but uh, 
hopefully tonight's got a little bit more activity and we can uh, get a shot at something. So I'm gonna get packed up, I'm gonna climb down, I'm just gonna sneak up, I'll freshen up the two scrapes we have up here, one at the food plot and one in the tree line, and then uh, sneak out of here, grab some lunch, and be back for the evening. I'm all set up back in the same stand I was in this morning. Hopefully that uh, that buck that we saw this morning comes back through here a little bit closer this time. Um, it's a lot warmer out. It's 57 degrees right now. Not ideal temperatures, but this is what we have to work with, so that's what I'm going to do. back up in the tree all settled in didn't bounce any deer but I'm thinking these deer are probably bedded and hoping that they're gonna come out from this direction over the camera tonight but you never know I mean that buck this morning went down the top of the field they're cutting corn all the way down at the bottom so I mean if he wants to he can come up he could be bedded up between here and the other end of the field, just laying somewhere and we'll come back here, so. There could be deer in that corn yet, but they're gonna be cutting for a while. So we'll see.
Well, that's a buck that I would have shot for sure. I hope I got him on camera. <coughs> I just happened to look up there between the split and I just saw a rack up there. And he actually walked straight to where I was sitting the evening that I saw that double main beam buck. If I'd have been sitting in our blind over there, <laughs> I probably would have saw him because I think he came through that opening. And the furthest shot we have from the blind is 30 yards. <coughs> That's a big buck. He looks like a big eight. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what he looks like. Well, as I was watching him, I had a little doe on the bank of the pond over there on that side. But who knows, I don't. I haven't seen him cross the field. He might circle back around and come down through this thicket, who knows. That's it for today. Legal shooting hours are over and uh, I'm gonna get packed up. Get out of here, get something to eat and watch that footage to see if I got that buck on film. Hopefully I got a better view of him on the camera than what I'm hoping. So. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for following along. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight. Got a little exciting there at the end with that doe. She came right over. I thought she was gonna walk this way. But she came over here and stopped. I think she skylined me. But she didn't know what I was, so. She never blew, but that's it. Pretty, uh. And she's back out here looking at me again. Alright, I'm gonna shut everything off and let her get out of here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.